Hi folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. Today we've got a course by Major High and this is Pinhook Saddle Club. He actually hit me up on Twitter a couple of days ago, asked me to try it out. So what I've done, I've kept it on default. We'll have a look at the course conditions once we get inside the game. We're actually hitting off the gold tees though, which is the back tees. 7,445 yards. And yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, great looking first hole this. Hole 1, 406 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. So it looks like you've got a nice river system running all the way sort of through the course here. A couple of big lakes as well. The lighting kind of looks like the morning or dusk. It's very low lighting, which gives all that sort of hazy look. Pretty cool. We've got 4 mile an hour with us. But let me have a a little pan around. Very nice. Nice big lake. Huge lake. What's this down here? Oh, it's just a little gazebo. We've got like a... What's this? That's a little horse, horse paddock. With a little sort of feeding trough in the middle of that. Very nice. A little river coming down here. The sort of fast rapids just falling into the, the main sort of lake. Okay, very good. What else do we have? Okay, we've got a driving range, we've got a practice area here as well. Two practice greens, a nice big driving range. What's that orange? Texture over there. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's like a an equestrian park or the horses to jump over and things. Very nice. Okay, let's get back to it. There's something else I just spotted there. What was it? I flew over the top a bit with the clubhouse. Now look at this. <laughs> it's got a multi-story car park there. That's the first time I've seen a multi-story in the game. Very nice. Nicely done. Okay, let's get back into it. Put the HUD back on. And let's go. Okay, what did we say here? 406 yards. Now this is downhill, so with that wind and downhill, we should actually reach right over to there. Okay, not too bad. A little bit of a pull left again. That should be okay though. That should leave a nice little pitch or a little flop up towards the pin. Okay, 42 yards. Well, actually played about 43, 44. I'm going to have to go with a flop shot here though. Whoop, the hell was that? I was shit myself. <laughs> 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 Sorry for the language, I was wondering what the hell that was. So I usually have my friends turned off. So people can't see that I'm playing and they'll jump in. It's actually pissed me off when you get another ball flying all over the place. So who's that? Nook, Nook Lelouch 44. I'll keep him on there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, 42 yards. What did I say? Flop. Yep. Uh, the flop is bang on 42. Now the thing with the flop and the pitch is now you've got to get this perfect, perfect, or you could be in a world of hurt. Oh, perfect slow, and it pushes out to the right. But it's not too bad though. Still sets us up for the birdie putt. Okay, 8 feet 3 inches down. And we'll get the birdie. So that's a good start. Okay, hole two, 597 yards, par five, stroke index 18. Okay, this looks like it's kind of a raised tee again. Kind of looks a little bit downhill here. The two bunkers either side of the fairway. Nice big sort of lake. And you've got the river to the left-hand side and the lake to the right-hand side. Nice big retaining wall all the way around that green complex there. 
I bet that's... I bet they do weddings over here, look. Could a little boat take them over to the gazebo? <laughs> so let's just try and smash one right down here. Our camera reaches green too. 600 yards, Delta. Oh, what's that big pool to the left again? I hope that's okay. That should be fine. Oh, I forgot to look at the course details, didn't I? The fairways actually look firm. Let's have a quick look. Okay, greens are firm, green speed is fast, and the fairways are firm also. Okay, 293. Well, we can reach the green, but we're going to be left with a huge, huge putt. So I'm going to drop it. 5 hybrid, 211. 194, so that leaves us about 100 in. We're going to get a bit of roll with the 5 iron, so that should leave us around about a full shot with the log ledge, I reckon. So I'd rather play a full shot in than a pitch or a, a flop, because you, if you miss it, you miss perfect, perfect, you could be anywhere. Okay, 199. 98, so that's actually playing 100 and 101. We're at 108 here, so let's put a bit of fade on this. A bit of loft, should I say, a bit of fade. Okay, that's a nice strike. Depends on the distance. Maybe I took too much off it. Nope. Oh, that's bang on. Okay, flat little putt. And we get another birdie. Yeah, like I said, I'd rather leave myself a full shot in than a pitch or a chip. I mean, I think the short game's great. They've really tightened up. It's a lot harder now, but I think you're going to get more people sort of dropping down to like a full shot. I mean, a full shot's actually easier than a pitch shot. Okay, hole three, 433 yards, par four, stroke index two. Okay, add two shelves. Well, shelf on that. Green that. I'm going to make sure we get to the top one. Okay, let's so we'll take this controller just a little bit so I don't pull left here. Oh, yes, that's nice. That's what I had to do in TGC2 as well. Just a little rotation round to the right. I read on the forums about um, the API that TGC Tours use. Uh, some people flick the stick forward, and it's not actually registering a full um, shot on the API for some reason. I used to do that as well, use the flick method. You just pull back your normal back shot and then just flick it. But apparently it's causing a little bit of problem. Okay, 147, that's playing 157. Put a little bit of loft on this. That's not bad as well. Now, how's the distance? That's good. Distance was absolutely spot on. Got that little crooked bit there at the top of my swing. That's what probably pulled it around to the right. Uh oh. Ooh, I thought I'd missed that. That's another birdie. L4, 198 yards, par 3, stroke index 4. I do like that little hollow that he's got down there with all the plant and different colours and that. Just makes it sort of stand out with the different colours. Okay, that's playing about 180. That's 190, 29 feet down, so that's about 180. 172 with a 7 iron. But down loft that just a little touch. That should run up towards the hole. Oh, it's a little bit to the right. Oh, and it's just going to trickle off. Oh, that would have been nice. If I pulled that left there, that would have been nice. Okay, eight yards, one foot up. So I only want 
maybe about 60-70% on this. Eighty five percent, yep, sixty seventy would have been bang on. So hard to judge these little chip shots now. Okay, we might end up with a bogey here if we don't get this. Oh we saved the par. Nice one. Okay, hole five, four hundred and eighty seven yards, par four, stroke index ten. There's that little Sort of horse paddock. Really nice. Okay, we're a big deep bunker there on the right hand side. This looks like it's gradually going downhill towards the hole as well, towards the, the green. Okay, we're at six mile an hour and coming in from the right. Okay, it's not pulling as much when you rotate the club. Uh, the the um, controller, that's not too bad. Okay, big drive, 322 yards. That leaves us 179, playing about 176. 172 with a 7 iron, that should be good enough. Come on, wind, push it round. Yeah, that's looking fine. It's going to roll up towards the hole and leave us with another nice little tap in. I do like the fence, he's got all the way around the, the green complex there. I think that's the one with the um, let's have a look. Is this the one with the retaining wall? No. Nice fence though. So that gives us another birdie, I think that was birdie. Yep. Okay, hole 6, 154 yards, par 3, stroke index 12. Okay, you got that little river running down there, and it sort of goes into the rapids, just dropping in this big lake. Okay, 4 mile an hour, coming in from the right, 148, that's playing round about 146, 145. About 145. So, let's put a little bit of loft on this. That little crooked bit again at the top of the swing there. Oh that went a little bit further than I thought. It's about eight, nine foot for the for the birdie. Eleven foot. A tiny little turn right at the end there. There we go. There's the birdie. Hole 7, 437 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. Okay, we're hitting over the lake, yep. Yeah. Did I see that right? Nicholas was playing off the, the, the women's tees there, the red tees. Maybe he's playing with them beginner clubs. Okay, you've got two parts of the fairway here. And you've got the right side and the left side. The left side looks like it's a better angle in towards the green. But it's going to be a harder shot to land. I'm just going to aim it to the right hand side just in case I do pull it. Let's rotate this controller again. Oh, that works a treat. Yeah, I'm just, got, just, just rotating it a little bit so it's more like I'm hitting, I would say, what, 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock, it feels like. Instead of the other way, it felt like I was actually hitting. From 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock, but it was pulling left. <laughs> I think I must have been doing like a curve. I must have been pulling it down from like 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock, curving in the middle and then pulling left, if you know what I mean. Okay, 122, that's bang on distance for the, the gap wedge there. 6 miles an hour wind coming in from the right. See, I didn't rotate that there. You've got that little touch to pull into the left. See that? Oh, look at that. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would spin back there. Mind you, it's firm fairways, uh, greens. And... Okay, 10 feet. One inch down. Got a bit of a turn left to right here. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, it slipped past. She has slipped past. A little bit pacey, I think. A little bit less pace and I would have dropped that. Now mind you, it was a bang on 122. I should have put a little bit of loft on because that's the actual carry distance. And then you've got to get that little bit of roll forward. So that was my fault completely. Hole 8, 576 yards, par 5, stroke index 6. Okay, it looks like I've got a bit of a dog leg here. It's going around to the right. And then it's coming back round to the left as well. Okay, let's have a look where the green is. Oh, the green's come right around to the left. I don't think we're going to get this in two because these trees here are going to be in the way. I mean, we could probably aim down here somewhere and go for it. But we're just going to have to play it safe. I think we're just going to have to lay up for the second shot. Let's just take it down this right-hand side here. Now, this is a normal swing, right? I'm going to do a normal swing without rotating the club. There, the controller. That's not too bad as well. As you see, it's more left, though. But if I rotate the controller just a little touch, it kind of strains it up for me. Okay, 283. Yeah, we weren't going to reach the green anyway. Let's just play this up to here. Yeah, there you go. There's the pool left. Now, I didn't actually calculate that. I'm just hoping it's going to leave us a full shot in. Okay, 102. It's playing 105. That's not too bad, actually. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. Oh, that's nice. It's going to give us another nice little pup for the birdie. Okay, hey, hole 9, 324 yards, par 4, stroke index 16. Big bridge going right across this tiny little, I wouldn't say it's a lake, it's more of a pond that one. And you've got the big windy bit of the river there, pretty cool. Okay, that's only 300, 297. We could probably reach that green with the driver. The only mm, problem is, bounces here, it's going to kick left. It hits that top slope here, it's still going to kick left. But if we actually hit the green, I think it might run out, so I'm actually going to play short. One iron, I think three wood. Yeah, three wood should be good. Is it downhill? Yep, yeah, we're downhill. Three wood should land nicely on this little, this little area down here. Should be okay. Yep, that's fine. We're going to go into this little hollow. That's going to leave us on a little bit of a down slope. But we're going to have to go with a pitch here. Okay, 51. That's actually playing. About 55. So put a little bit of loft on it. All right, we get the perfect, perfect here. And we get it. Nice one. I pulled out a little bit left, though. Love the light in that. You see all the plants just sort of planted all the way across there. Beautiful looking. Ah, oh, that's yeah. See how quick that turned? Straight off the bloody club head. That turned really fast. So that was a par. Hole 10. 172 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Okay, got a couple of bunkers here on the right hand side. Nice big deep one there. Sort of right, sort of bang, middle. Probably a landing area around about here. We've got another one just to the right of the green, which shouldn't really come into play. Ok, 
Okay, another nice strike. Should hit just over 300. Nope, bang on 300 yards. Leave us 154, 153 to the pin. 160. Let's go with the. Uh, and we'll down loft at a touch, shall we? Let's try that. Oh, that's a nice strike. Depends on distance now. Oh, that is not bad at all. Go on. Go, go, go. <laughs> that leaves a nice little tap in for the birdie. Do you know, I actually didn't look. I wonder if he had grandstands and crowds on this. You can't, yeah. You probably get a bit bored with the, the same all the time. It's nice just to play a course just the way it is without the, the grandstands and the, the crowds and things like that. I, I like doing my RCRs that way with the grandstands and the crowds. Just adds that a little bit more because you've got the, um, the player AI and all that change the names and stuff. Okay, the fairway kind of splits to three different sections here. So I don't know if we're going to reach, I can't see us reaching this in two. Right, this is a little bit downhill, so we should be able to reach this, this section here. Let's rotate this controller again. Oh, that didn't help that time. <laughs> that was a bit more of a squealy line. That should be okay though, that's fine. As I said, I can't see us reaching the green in two anyway. Two seventy seven, we might re Nah, it would hit this and just trickle back into the water. So two seventy seven. Let's have a look. So that might leave us about a hundred yards of that. So let's go with this. It's a fast do not do not No Stay on <laughs> Oh ho, ho, ho. Kind of hoping it's going to leave us a full shot in. 101, 103. We've got 108 on this, so we want to take what about five off this. Try around about there. Might have been a little bit too much. Nope, that's not. That's absolutely bang on. Nice little pup for the birdie. Perhaps stroke index one as well. Hole 12, 433 yards. Par 4, stroke index 11. There's that little equestrian, I don't know what they call them, equestrian park or paddock or somewhere where horses jump anyway. <laughs> okay, hole 12, 433 yards. Okay, this takes a little turn around to the right here. Got a nice retaining wall right around this green complex. Okay, should be good just hitting one down there. Yeah, I do like the way the apex and all that is now. You get a sort of a lot higher trajectory of the ball. Just looks more natural, I think. Okay, 120. It's playing 126. So we're going to go with the gap wedge. But we're going to down loft this one. There's that little crooked thing right at the top of the swing again. Oh, that's not bad at all. We'll run past just a little bit though. This kind of, could be a tough little putt. I think it's downhill. Yep. 13 feet, 2 inches down. And we get it. Nice. Hole 13. 442 yards. Par 4. Stroke index 17. Okay. Gradually going downhill here. All the bunkers on the right hand side. Fairway takes a little turn at the bottom here to the left. 
and the pins tucked away on the left hand side there as well. Should be fine. If we can just hit one right down the middle. Is this going to kick? Ah, that's okay. 306 yards. That leaves us 146 to the pin. Okay, we're at 148 with the 9 iron. But we've got 4 mile an hour wind against us. That should be good. A little bit of a slope there. Oh, big pull. The wind should keep it there though. The wind's actually keeping it out to the right, look. Even though that was quite a big pull. Just a little bit short as well. So this looks like a dodgy little putt, this one. Okay, left to right, I should say right to left, that's a little bit right to left, that looks quite straight that one, okay it's just these couple here, and what we've got, 17 feet, 2 inches down, Oh no, it's pulling out. Okay, so that's going to be a part. Yeah, I'm surprised that actually stayed that far out right though. There's a little bit of a crook at the top of the swing. So it just pushed out to the right, I think. Okay, nice looking little path through this. Just through like a little avenue of trees here. Hole 14, 174 yards, par 3, stroke index 13. Okay, 175, he's playing about 178. Let's just down off that little tiny touch. Okay, he's pulled left again. Don't go out too far left because there's a slope to the left there. Oh no, it's going to hit that slope. Right on it. Oh no, it is caught it. Look. That's not too bad. Okay, 20 feet, 4 inches up. Turn. Oh, come on. Well, that might have turned just a little touch but it didn't smash that in there that's for a par oh 15 596 yards par 5 stroke index 9 glad I got my shades on <laughs> that is bright it's a great looking hole though that's a very very natural looking hole We've got the road all the way up the left hand side there, people's houses, look at the cars parked outside. Huge green. I don't think we're going to reach this into there. You see the green is raised there, it's gradually sort of goes uphill there. Don't think we'll reach it. 292. No, we're playing 292. It's actually playing about 300. No, about 298. Okay, kind of hoping that's going to leave us a, a lob wedge in. 90 odd yards. Ninety-two, that's actually playing. About ninety-eight. Bit of a slope here. Let's just put a little bit of down loft on this. Come 
Oh, that was good distance. Again, I pushed, I pushed out to the right that time. <laughs> Instead of the left. Okay, 12 feet. Two inches up. And just boom that right in there. Hole 16, 378 yards. Par 4. Stroke index 15. Okay, this looks like we've got a bit of a dog leg here. Oh, look where the pin is. I can see the pin through the trees already. That turns right away around to the left-hand side. 307 yards to the green. Oh, and it's not even a, a shortcut. Look at that. You should have given you a, a risk reward <laughs> shot there. Okay, I'm actually just going to hit the three wood just up here to this middle section. That should do us. As long as it gets past that tree, I hope that tree's not in the way. That should be okay, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 119, 119. So it's actually playing about 126. So let's put a bit of down loft on that. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Should have just hit that dead. Okay, it's pretty flat. 16 inch. 16 feet, sorry, one inch down. Turn, and there we go. Nice one. Hole 17, 231 yards, par 3 stroke index 3. Okay, downhill again here. Well, not so much downhill, but it's got a little bit of elevation change here. Now, I wonder if that bit on the right-hand side yeah, originally had bunkers there. Just, just the shape of it. It just looks like it was ready for bunkers. Okay, 221. 34 down. So it's actually playing 210. 194. I'm going to go with the 194. I'm going to go with the 5 iron, but I'm going to down loft it a bit. I'm kind of hoping it gets onto the green, hits these red slopes here, and then filters down towards the hole. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, I pulled that left. It might go a little bit too far. It has. No! Is it hitting slope? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to be down this bottom section. I don't want to be left up there. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, I pulled that way too far left there, I think. But look at that. That's nice. It's similar to what I wanted to happen. I just pulled it a little bit too far left. Okay, six feet, two inches down. And we get the birdie. Hold 18, 516 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. Okay, quite a lengthy par 4. There's that multi-story car park round, a nice big retaining wall right around the edge of this green complex here. I'll tell you what, it would be nice if you maybe did a little Sort of plantation in the middle there. Different coloured plants, a few little bushes and things. Ah, that's going to be very tight there. I might have to come this side. I don't trust myself going this side. Not if I pull that. I'll be in the crap. Right, but it's going to leave myself a lot of distance on the second shot though. Yeah, I'm going to have to go this way. Ah, now if I did go that way, that drive that would have been bang on <laughs> I just didn't want to chance it didn't fancy hitting into a bunker but I added a good 20-30 yards on the lock uh, distance I think now yep 233 that's actually playing about 226 this should be good enough okay everything's sloping right to left 
So I'm going to aim this over to the right hand side. Hopefully it still hits the green here. That's a nice strike. Now it should feed round towards the hole. But it's actually going to pull up pretty short I think. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, 16 feet, one inch up. Oh, just missed it. Oh, and that's went right past. That might have been a bit too pacey. That might not. That's, that's a beautiful view there, isn't it? Right across the lake though. Yeah, there you go, guys. That is Pinhook Saddle Club by Major High. Very, very nice course. Do love the, the sort of the river that sort of winds all the way through the course. Yeah, it's got some nice, nice, uh, nice assets, and the, the course looks really nice. It plays really well. Very, very nice. Really pleased with that. Really enjoyed my round. So don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It's very much appreciated. And as soon as you subscribe, there will be a little notification bell that if you hit that, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, my Twitter handle will be in the description of the video. Also, again, every time I upload a video to YouTube, you will be notified on Twitter. So, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, this is Pin Hook. Yep, Pin Hook Saddle Club by Major High. So give it a point. And I will catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.